Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. So for today's video po ang ating pag-aaralan ay solving word problems after translating mathematical phrases into algebraic expression or equations. So ito po ay lesson after po ng translating mathematical phrases into algebraic expressions or equations. So, I hope na marami tayong matutunan sa lesson na ito dahil ito po ay prerequisite okay, sa uh, mga lessons na tatahakin ng mga elementary pupils going to high school. So, huwag na po natin patagalin pa. Let us now start by giving examples. So, let us start with our first problem. Jake is 24 years old now. Represent his age as years ago. So, meron tayo dito na is, di ba, sa ating lesson before, sa so, translating mathematical phrases into algebraic expressions or equations, yung is, ibig sabihin ay equal sign. So, first, we need to use x to represent Jake. So, ang gagamitin natin ay X. Pwede rin naman kahit na anong letter or symbol. Pero, para mas madali, let us use X. Dahil yan ang common na ginagamit sa high school na variable. So, let us use X to represent Jake. Okay? So, sabi sa ating first sentence, Jake is 24 years old now. So, si Jake ay X. Jake is, yung equal sign ay is, 24 years old now. So, this is his present age. Then, on our second sentence, it says here, represent his age as years ago. So, we have S, okay, to represent years ago. Ano po yung gagawin natin? Yung age niya ngayon, which is 24, ililess natin yung word na years ago, ago meaning, tapos na, yung mga nakaraang edad daw niya, okay, that's, that represents S. So, yung mga nakaraang edad daw niya, so meaning, tapos na, ililess natin. That is minus. Okay? Then, representing S. Okay? So, for the second sentence, it says, represent his age as years ago. So, since there is no specific years kung ilan yung minus natin, ang ginamit sa sentence or sa word problem is S years ago. So, we will just subtract S sa present age ni Chick. So, our algebraic expression for number 1 example is X is equal to 24 minus S. Okay? So, this is our first algebraic equation. Okay, for our second word problem or situation is a number times the sum of 5 dogs and 3 cats. A number times the sum of 5 dogs and 3 cats. So, we have here a number. So, always uh, use X para mas madali sa atin, no? Preparation sa high school uh, terms, okay? And coefficients, literal coefficients. So, ang gagamitin lagi natin ay yung X or Y, Okay? So, a number, let us use x to represent the number. So, a number times the sum of 5 dogs and 3 cats. So, a number times times the sum of 5 dogs and 3 cats. So, we have here the sum of 5 dogs. Okay, wait lang. Okay, so we have here the sum of 5 dogs and 3 cats. Okay, so, this is now all algebraic expression. So, a number representing x times the sum of 5 dogs and 3 cats. So, we need first to, to add or to get the sum of 5 and 3, then multiply it to the number x. Okay, our third situation is... 14 cupcakes diminished by twice a number. 14 cupcakes diminished by twice a number. So, again, we have here a number. So, we will use X to represent the number. So, we have 14. 14 cupcakes diminished by. So, when we say diminished, it represents subtraction. 
twice a number. So, dalawang beses daw ng number. At ang number na yon ay represented by a variable x. So, twice a number x. Okay? So, this is our algebraic expression. So, a number or 14 diminished by twice a number. Our expression here is 14 minus 2x. Okay, so for fourth example, 3 inches taller than Josiah's height. So, we have here Josiah's height, okay, na hindi given. So, again, we will use x to represent Josiah's height. So, we have x to represent Josiah's height. So, our situation says 3 inches taller than. So, again, kapag nakarinig kayo ay nakabasa ng word na more than, less than, taller than, smaller than. So, ibig sabihin, it comes after. Okay, it comes, the number comes after, okay, our given variable or terms. So, 14, ah, 3 inches. So, 3 inches taller than. So, taller means mas mataas. So, that is addition taller than Josiah's height. So, our expression here is x plus 3. Okay? So, our expression here is x plus 3. Okay. Next example is the width of the rectangle is 2 centimeters less than the length. So, the width of a rectangle is 2 centimeters less than the length. So, ang gagamitin po natin na variables dito ay W for the width and then L for the length. So, the situation says the width of this rectangle is 2 cm less than the length. So, we have here, sulat natin para mas maintindihan. So, W to represent the width and then L to represent the length. So, sabi dito, the width of the rectangle is. So, may word na is meaning equal sign. So, the width, W, is 2 centimeters less than the length. So, we have there the words less than. So, ibig sabihin, it comes after. Okay? So, 2 centimeters comes after the length. So, 2 centimeters less than, that is subtraction, comes after the length. Okay, so our equation here is W is equal to L minus 2. So, that is our equation for number 5. Okay, so that is just about representing or translating uh, the, the real-life situations into algebraic expression or equation. So, this time, we will now try to solve for the given situations. So, problem number one, Rudy bought four erasers. Each eraser cost 9 pesos and 75 centavos. Write an expression for the amount spent for the erasers. Okay, so for problem number one or situation number one, there's no need for us to solve since what is asked is to just write an expression. Okay, so we will just write a mathematical expression or algebraic expression for this situation. So, this is just so simple. So, it says here that Rudy bought four erasers. So, four erasers, okay, and each eraser costs 9 pesos and 75 centavos. So, four times 9 pesos and 75 centavos equals N. Okay, or equals x. So, x is the amount spent for the eraser since we do not know yet. Since there's no need for us to solve for this because what is x is to just write an expression. So, our expression here or equation is 9, uh, 4 times the quantity of 9 pesos and 75 centavos or 4 times 9.75 equals n. Okay, so second situation, Jed has some video games. He gave seven, or he gave away seven video games. 
expressed the video games he had after giving away some video games. So, for this situation, again, we will use X to represent the video games. Okay? So, Jed had some video games. He gave away 7 video games. So, we have here the video games, the total number of video games. Then, less 7. Okay? Because he gave away 7 video games. Okay? So, we will subtract 7 from his total uh, video games. Express the video games he had after giving some video games. So, our expression here is X minus 7. Or again, you can use the equation x minus 7 equals n. Okay? So, pwede merong equals n, pwede ring wala. Since we are just going to express, okay, the equation. So, pwede ito lang, pwede rin naman na merong equals n. Okay? So, this is the total number of video games Jed had after giving away 7. Okay, so we don't know the total or the exact number since we don't since we do not know what is the exact number of all his video games. And for our third example, the sum of three consecutive numbers is 63. Find the numbers. Okay, so the sum of three consecutive numbers is 63. Find the numbers. So, so, problem natin, sabi doon, we have three consecutive numbers. So, we will use again x to represent our first number. So, sabi, tatlong magkakasunod. So, paano natin ma-represent yung tatlong magkakasunod? So, we have x. So, yung kasunod niya, madadagdagan ng 1. So, x plus 1 will be our second number. Then, yung kasunod nila, okay, madadagdagan na ng another 1. So, that is 1 plus 1, 2. That will be our third number. Okay, so representation pa lang to. So, we have here three consecutive numbers. We have the first number x, the second number x plus 1, the third number x plus 2. Then, it says here, uh, lahat daw sila is equal to 63. So, pag pinag-add daw to the sum of the three consecutive numbers, that is equal to 63. So, we have x plus, we will add this 3. Okay? So, x plus x plus 1. Nilalagyan natin ng open and close parentheses para hindi tayo malilito or magkakamali sa ating operations. Plus, x plus 2, parentheses again, open and close, is... 63. So, this is our third Okay, this is our third uh, expression. Oh, by the way, it says here that we need to find the number. So, we need to solve for this. Let's show our solution. Let's use our extra board. Okay, so lang, ayan. So, sabi po no, sa ating problem so, we have the equation x plus x plus 1 plus x plus 2 is equal to 63. So, first, we will add all the similar terms. So, we have 3 x's. So, tatlong x as variable, ha? So, x plus x plus x, that is equal to 3x. Plus, ano yung mga ano natin dito? Constant, we have 1 and 2. So, 1 plus 2, that is equal to 3. Equals 63. Okay? Then, next na gagawin natin. Okay? So, property of equality. Or, yung pinakamadali na ginagamit natin is yung transposition. So, yung iwan na lang natin dito sa left side ay yung uh, number with variable, which is 3x. Ito na lang. And then, si 3, transpose natin dito sa kabila. So, retain si 63. So, this is positive. Pag nilipat siya, magiging negative 3. Okay? Kasi nilipat natin ang side. Okay? So, yan yung sa ano ha, usual na ginagamit sa high school. Pero usually, no, dapat palang ipakita natin yung property of equality. Sige, same lang naman. Pero masanay kayo sa property of equality. Yung long method. Okay? Pero yun kasi yung tama na dapat na alam natin. So, ulitin natin ha. So, paano natin ngayon, tatanggalin yung 3 dito. Okay? So, kailangan natin na... Okay, so para matanggal si positive 3 dito, mag-a-add tayo ng negative 3. 
Okay, so positive 3 minus 3 cancel, 0 na yan. So, kung ano yung in natin sa left side ng ating equation, yun din yung gagawin natin sa right side. So, we will also add negative 3 here. Okay, ito yun. Okay, so natanggal na dito yung positive 3, nalipat na dito sa kabila. Okay, so 63 minus 3, that is 60. Okay, so pwede nyo rin gawin yung kanina, yung una kong pinakita, yung transposition. Pero, mas tama kasi na sundin itong property of equality. Okay, kasi mas applicable siya sa lahat ng gagawin natin, even when you get into your high school lesson. So, copy the remaining term, which is 3x. Okay, then next, oh, paano naman natin matatanggal si 3? Kasi kailangan na lang natin matira ay yung variable x. So, we will divide both sides by, or we will multiply both sides by one-third. Okay, so ito yung tamang way, no? So, one times three, that is three, divided by three, that is one. So, matitira na lang ay x. Sixty times one is sixty, divided by three, that is twenty. Okay? Okay? Pero yung usual din na ginagawa kasi natin dito, yung shortcut na, di ba? Nakapagpakita lang natin, ha? Other way to solve this, 3x equals 60. Yung ginagawa natin, we divide na lang sa kung ano yung katabi ng variable. So, 3. Kaya, cancel na yan kasi 1. So, 20. Okay, so, ito rin yan. <laughs> okay, so, pareho lang ha? Kaya, kasi ito yung tamang way ng pagsusolve talaga. Though, any way naman is correct, as long as mag-come up tayo sa iisa at tamang sagot. Okay? So, sa mathematics, you are free to use or to to do or to use. Okay? Whatever strategy. Okay? Or whatever solution you want. As long as you come up, we come up with the same correct answer. Okay? So, sabi dito, x is equal to 20. So, ano ba si x? That is our first number. So, x is equal to 20. Next, what is our second number? We will now substitute ah. So, sabi dito si x. So, ay, ano pa ginawa ko dito? Okay, so, our first number is 20. Our second number is x. Ano yung x natin? 20. Plus 1, that is now 21. Okay, our third number, x ulit. Si 20 daw si x, diba? Si 20 si x. Plus 2, that is 22. Okay, so sabi sa ating word problem or situation, the sum of 3 consecutive numbers is 63. So kapag pinag-add daw ito, ang sagot ay 63. So 20 plus 21 is 41, plus 22 is 63. Okay, so tama po ang ating expression or equation. At the same time, tama rin lalo ang ating answers na 3 consecutive Numbers. So, kasi kapag ito ay mali, ibig sabihin, dito pa lang, mali na tayo. Or, dito pa lang, nagkamali na tayo sa ating representation or translation. Kaya, napakahalaga na we know how to translate and analyze word problems, in uh, mathematical symbols into expressions or equations. So, I hope na meron na naman tayong natutunan. So, thank you for watching our video. God bless us all.